Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Seek Show. Hope you already subscribed to my YouTube channel to get the latest video updates and notifications. Okay, I have already come back with a new lesson today. My today's lesson is how to create a point density map by calculating point density. Right? Okay, let's move to today's lesson. These are my uh, point data. You can see the point data here. This is my point shape file. Hope these points are strikes, flashes, right? So we are going to calculate uh, flash density and create a flash density map, right? And my other data file is this common boundary. Uh, this boundary or the fish net, which cover up all the data points that I have. If I am going to calculate the point density, so first we have to uh, calculate the area of each square and calculate the uh, count the number of uh, points and by dividing those two we can get the easily get the uh, point density per area, right? So if we don't know how to create this kind of a fish net, uh, just check the description section below. Uh, I have provided the link uh, to know how to to know uh, how to use this how to create this kind of a fish net. I have already created a video for you. And uh, okay, let's go to the attribute table of this command bound to shape file or the fish net. You can see each and every square has a similar area, four hundred and eighty four square kilometer, right? And then. Uh, you have the point shape file here now we want to easily easily count the number of uh, data points or locations in each square to do that you have to use this spatial joint feature right Go open this spatial joint tool here the target feature must be the common boundary that means our fish net created fish net and join features must be your data points or location data I'm going to set my output feature here in this location you can set output folder just save and keep the other things as it is and just click OK let's see the output here right keep in mind first you have to use this spatial joint tool uh, to calculate the uh, to count the number of points number of data points in each square so because you are going to calculate the density you no know, point density so you have to first you have to know the uh, number of data points in each square right okay the output this is the output you don't see anything no right but if you go into your uh, attribute table of the output you can see the joint count here right you have the area and you have the joint count here I will show you as an example see this polygon see this uh, square which has uh, two data points and area here 484 square kilometers let's see on the map this one I will overlay my data point here let's check this one right it is okay the join count has automatically calculated right now you know uh, two data points here and two divided by 484 square kilometers right you may have different kind of uh, equations to calculate your density it doesn't matter now I'm going to show you how to calculate in my right and you have to open your attribute table again and let's create uh, another uh, new field here and I will rename it as my density map density I have a special uh, density equation here and I'm going to type set it as float right now you can use this uh, field calculator tool to calculate your density I have already 
arranged my equation first I am going to uh, take my equation here wait for me this is my equation that I am going to use I have used uh, 17 years of data so you can choose or you can apply your own equation here I'm going to use my equation here to shorten the video length and I'm going to calculate my density here yes and I'm going to paste my equation again I am remind you that you can choose your own equation this is my special equation to calculate the flash density here because I am using flash data points now so just click OK it will automatically generate the density here right now you can see the density I'm going to show the descending order right I have already calculated the density and then what you have to do is I'm going to remove these uh, two shape files I did I don't need these things and uh, go to this properties of the shape file and go to symbology and go to quantities here your value should be the density normalization uh, none and uh, you can set classes up to eight I'm going to set my color ramp uh, this one from lowest to highest density just apply and OK this is my data point the distribution of the density in each cell you can overlay your uh, map any other map a country map or oh, and you can develop this into a uh, another advanced map with a great layout and that's all for today i will be back with the, another video which connect with this uh, point density map this is part one video i will be back with the part two video in the near future please uh, subscribe and like comment and share this video and uh, that's all for today thanks for watching